Hey guys, and welcome back to That Old P Show. The name of the game is Deus Ex for PC. We're still looking for some gold and a computer for Morgan Everett to access the MJ12 networks, but first, let's take out these two guys. Uh, I need to rest my feet. You should go back to the barracks. What are they thinking? Eight straight hours of walking around a vacant cathedral? What's the point of that? I think he contacted Everett. He'll probably target the computer room. We should just smash that thing to pieces and I'll get a good night's sleep. Then there's the gold. The Illuminati are the only other organization that knows it exists. Yeah, like they could move 40 tons of gold out of here without being seen. Right. Now, all the same, we don't know what they have planned. I plan on spraying you guys. And then knocking you out with my baton. <laughs> There we go. You guys got anything on you? Nothing. Anyway, probably noticed everything here is running at a nice smooth 60 frames per second, although I don't have it at 1080p. That's because with my current capture device, which is a Hopog HD PVR2 Gaming Edition, I don't have the ability to record 1080p in anything faster than 30 frames per second, unfortunately. I am currently in the market for a new capture device, maybe an Avermedia Extreme Cap U3 or uh, Elgato Game Capture HD60, one of those that can record HD or 1080p HD at uh, 60 frames per second. Anyway, the uh, code here is 1942. And here's where the gold is. Unfortunately, we need to hack through those laser bars right there. So, yeah, and uh, I will not be using fraps to record 1080p at 60 frames per second. Uh, it's not that I can't do it. It's just that I spent... Hold on. You interrupted me, Everett. Thank you. Anything else to say? This hoard dates back to when the Templars managed the French treasury for Philip the Fair. They moved it here from the temple in Paris after the crackdown of 1307. The Nazis boxed it up for shipment to Berlin, but had to abandon the cathedral during the evacuation. Interesting. Nazi gold. And it's all ours. But that one guard made a point. How the hell are we going to sneak it all out of here? In fact, I don't think they even bother bringing the gold back into the story. Anyway, yeah, like I said, I spent an entire Let's Play, specifically Sonic Generations, waiting for large, uncompressed AVI files to be squished down into tolerable YouTube sizes, and I really don't want to do it again. So, until such time as I get a new capture device which can record 1080p60, I'm going to defer to you. Do you prefer this, which is 60 frames per second at 720p, or would you just like me to upload these at a higher resolution with the uh, halved frame rate? So, your guys' choice. I'm uploading uh, these next few videos at uh, 60 frames per second, 720p, uh, just to let you guys know. Then you can watch my older videos and compare it, see what you like. Alright, so... Went in there, discovered some gold for some experience points. And let's see, I want to come out here and not go, oh god. He could have seen me. Alright, I want to make uh, sure he uh, makes his rounds again. There we go, let's wait for him to go around. But yeah, uh, sorry about the long, long break. I'll be perfectly honest with you, I was just... You know, new job. I was adjusting. I was exhausted. Not to mention a bunch of really, really, really good games came out over the summer break there. Like Hyrule Warriors and such. But, uh, yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, Hyrule Warriors. Lots and lots of content. I would do a Let's Play of it, but I'll be honest. I I'm a little leery of doing Let's Plays of current Nintendo games because they seem to be... Uh, copyright happy over those. Anyway, the password here is 0022. Uh, we won't be going in there quite yet. There's still one more thing I want to do up here. Let's, uh, yeah, I think we got enough of, uh, ammo in our charging prod. There is a WIB here. Want to make sure that she's actually facing away from me before I do this. There we go. Run silent and zap. I said zap, there we go. Sometimes it works in one, not all the time though. Let's see what she's storing in here. Eh, some money, okay, whatever. 
and let's go ahead and use a security terminal. I use the same thing near the gold. 43501 is the username, and 08711 is the password. Turn off that one uh, camera right there. Odd username, 34501. That doesn't really sound like a name. Or is it? Let's read this book, and we'll see the memoirs of that lady we just knocked out, that WIB. Her name is Adept. 34501. I guess uh, when they did whatever that they do to her to turn them into these things, they took away her name and gave her a number. It's actually kind of sad. And we already have those. And I don't think we're ever going to use that cathedral key. Anyway, let's head on uh, this way. There we go. Yes. Obey your new masters. Obey Call your me. master. Okay, we'll have to make Gunther wait. Spoiler alert, we're going to end up fighting him, and we're going to need a few places to run around. And uh, as far as I know, you can't destroy these doors even with the sword, so we're going to have some th have to use something with a... L uh, okay, what the hell was that? We're going to have to use something with a little more pop. So let's pull out a lamb. And if we stand right here in this corner and point straight down... We can just kind of bounce it, and then hide from it. There we go, and that's all blowing up. What do we have out here? Okay, so as you can clearly see, there's that path to that WIB. So we have a few places where we can run around. Hey, you know what? Let's go down this way. And there's nothing up there except for outside. There we go, and I took this fire extinguisher for a reason, because we're going to use it on Gunther. You'll see how in a few seconds here. All right, quick save in case I screw this up. Ugh, this is so hard. Okay, take four. Gunther's standing around that corner, and we want to try to lure him out. He's going to blast us with a flamethrower as soon as this dialogue, the following dialogue ends. So hopefully we can use this fire extinguisher to counteract the effects of the flames. Come on. There now we go. Now you see that you cannot succeed all alone against the whole world. You came all the way to Paris to tell me that. It is a simple message I am demonstrating. We know where you are going and what you intend. That doesn't mean you can stop me. I have been upgraded for this assignment. Back away, back away, back away. Oh, looks like we didn't uh, quite need this. Anyway, we want him to chase us. Oh, God. What happened? Come on, Gunther. Where are you? Did, did he did he stop chasing me? He stopped chasing me. Ugh, I didn't want him to stop chasing me. Okay. Let's get back down there. Come on, Gunther. You have a job to do. Kill me. Or at least try to. And... Oh. Okay, it looks like he did stop chasing me. Okay. <laughs> I'm just jumping and he's not noticing anything. I don't know if this is a glitch or what. But if he can't find you after a while, he stops chasing you. And then you can just sneak up behind him and do whatever you want. Now, I know I said this is a non-lethal run. But what I'm going to do now is kill Gunther. And then run from him because, you know, these bots explode and then you gotta go away from him. Uh, why did I do that, you might ask? Well, the game really only punishes you for being lethal during the first three missions. Like, when Paul, uh, like, before Paul starts, uh, you know, hinting that he's working for the NSF. In fact, I think the last person that, uh, you killing, like, ever affects the story plot-wise is, um is Juan Lebedev. I mean, that's the, like the last person that the game like changes depending on whether or not you kill him. Uh, other than that, you can kill whoever you want, let live whoever you want, and the game doesn't change, the story doesn't change, the dialogue doesn't change. It just kind of, you know, that, that factor of the game just goes away. So I killed Gunther right there uh, for a few reasons. One, you'll see that after establishing that uplink, we got a hologram over there, which you can't see from here, but it is Walton Simons. Now, if we didn't kill Gunther, uh, he wouldn't speak to us. It, we wouldn't be able to do anything with that, but we're going to get some extra dialogue with him uh, now that we killed Gunther. We did certainly teach you how to fight, didn't we? You're worried, Simons. We almost have a cure. You have nothing. 
Even if efforts succeed, you can't synthesize enough vaccine to stop an epidemic. You need a universal constructor, and don't think Page Industries is going to leave one lying around for you to use. Not after you blew up the one in Hong Kong. I was never properly trained in its operation. Laugh it up, Denton. Next time we won't use an old box of bolts like Gunter. The only reason I let him go to Paris is that I was sick of his moaning about Navarra and constant requests for a tune-up. You sent him because you knew he would fight to the death. He was the last of the mechs. Next time you will face someone of your own abilities. Oh, well, the only other person with my abilities is you, because, well, you disabled Paul's augmentations. I'm getting what I need. Good work. I will now consent to meet you in person. Go to the metro station nearby and await my instructions. I will do that, but soon, but first I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna, let's see, how am I doing on health? Yeah, I'm all right. And let's refill some bioelectric energy. Okay, so I killed Gunther Herman, pretty much making this a lethal run. Uh, kind of. I mean, I I'm gonna go about the rest of the game. Uh, I, you know, like doing non-lethal takedowns on regular mooks and all of that. But uh, whether or not you decide to kill Gunther at this point in the game. It doesn't affect anything. Even if we let him live, nobody in the plot would ever mention him again. And, well, he wouldn't show up ever again. Uh, live or die, that is the last we will ever see of Gunther Herman. Okay. Run silent and some thermoptic camo so we can make our way through here. And don't forget about that MJ-12 commando if you haven't taken him out already. He'd be walking along this path. He's right there. We're hearing the voice of a majestic 12 AI. No need to be alarmed. For now, I can protect you and Davis for a day or so. Now watch out for those guards up there. Your systems were very cooperative. You were just a prototype, Denton. A prototype for me. My associate, Toby Atanwe, will meet you below. All right, let's go meet up with him. Keep going. The tunnel is in the tube below. He meant that tube down the there. But uh, we're going to take care of a few things real quick. Just a few things that I wanted to show off. Which involves stacking these metal crates on top of this couch. And there's another one right there. And we'll need to grab a third one, which is actually over in this room over here with this locked glass door which the guards for some reason don't mind if we break so we'll go ahead and break that there's the crate that we need first of all let's go ahead and hack into this and we get 450 credits not bad how are we doing there we go all right refilled and we'll carry this last crate into there. Now what I'm doing right here is completely and entirely optional. I'm only showing it off, you know, to show it off in case you want to use it on your own playthrough. There we go. Now, here we're going to have a rare occurrence of us reading something besides a data cube that actually alters character dialogue and that would be this right here this is actually the notebook of that mechanic down there and it also seems to uh contain some account information i probably could have used that on the atm but to be perfectly honest we're not really going to be hurting mo for money for the rest of the game oh i see now your friend is waiting by the tracks do you know me more gangsters every day you have weapons? I am selling weapon modifications. 750 for accuracy, 800 for range. Also, I was lucky to find a thermoptic camo, 5000. I came across your journal. So, you've been stealing from security. Hey, you're reading my private memos? You got the stuff for free. Maybe you should give me a discount, or should I turn you in? Go ahead, I don't care. Who are they going to believe? Their own mechanic or suspicious foreigner? Ha! You will pay full price. So, there you go. He makes a good point. Uh, you can buy this stuff if you want to. I'm not going to buy anything from him. I just wanted to show off the fact that if you read his memoirs, you get a little bit of additional dialogue, even though it doesn't really help you because he tells you to go to hell anyway. No thanks. Alright, let's head downstairs and meet up with Atanway.
travel adversaries are in effect. All right, we got some extra skill you points. Now make sure you do not jump on the tracks. Uh, you'll get hurt. And there's a Tonway running right toward us. JC Denton, I will take you to Everett, but you will be forbidden to learn the way yourself. That will be quite a trick. You will not be armed in any way. Do what you must. Step a little closer. See, no inconvenience whatsoever. Everett must be paranoid. We all are. The Illuminati is getting a taste of its own medicine. Has he made any progress on the Great Death Virus? Your uplink provided the missing encryption key. He has been able to complete the work that Tresor Tong began. I must see him at once. He is downstairs in the lab. All right, let's take a look around Megan. Uh, Megan, who the hell is Megan? Around Morgan Everett's place, and then go meet up with him in the lab. But that's going to have to wait until next time. And until next time, thank you for watching that LP show, and have a one that is good.